Hello, beautiful souls. You have become really good at surfing these waves of your life, these energetic waves. I'm hearing, through not resisting the lows and through riding the highs. And that is so much I feel about what your life has been about recently. It's been about being able to surrender into whatever you are feeling fully, even when it doesn't completely make sense to you, even if, just like a surfer, you don't really know why a particular wave was so big or why you got knocked under. But you've really become skilled at maintaining your balance overall in riding these different energies. And in this way, I feel like this is one indicator your guides are pointing out of how much progress you've been making energetically, how skilled you've become at managing and harnessing these collective energies. And I feel that at times, recognition of that puts you in this very high vibrational place where things feel like they're just lining up for you, where you encounter all kinds of synchronicities, where you align with potential soulmate meetings, platonically and romantically. I see all of that represented by the star and the wheel of fortune. However, at other times, when you feel knocked under the waves, you might find yourself feeling as though I'm hearing you're fighting to keep things in control or to keep things in balance. And it all might feel as though it becomes too heavy at times. And with the Four of Swords, you may also feel a lot of fear, anxiety, overwhelm or stress related to that. And once again, my guides are saying, these are all two sides of the same coin. Begin to accept the totality of your nature, the extremes within yourself. Begin to accept your huge range of capacity for feeling, both the depths of emotion and also the heights. Because I'm getting that you are someone who is extremely sensitive to energy, so you actually are more impacted by those collective energy waves that we were talking about earlier than even the average person. And I feel that this has been coming up because someone may have been feeling a bit of self-judgment coming out around some of this. And I feel you being asked to really see yourself with love, to see how far you've come, to see how well you are doing so much of the time of really maintaining your balance, being such a light in this world. I see you being like that star in a very dark sky, one who is actually guiding and leading others in ways that you may not even be fully consciously aware of. So I'm going to be reshuffling some of the cards here. I feel like many of the messages coming out today have been words of encouragement from someone's spirit guides. So I'm really going to let this reading just carry us where it wants to go. And thank you for keeping such an open mind and heart. And of course, for sharing your own powerful energy here in this reading. You are more than a passive listener. You are actually an active co-creator here. And once again, we have the Divine Timing card. What else can I channel about this Divine Timing at play? From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 